Have you ever wondered which cells fight cancer and aging? Today, we dive into the fascinating world of our body's cellular defense system. The immune system plays a fundamental role in combating the two most complex biological phenomena we face, aging and cancer. The cells that serve as our body's soldiers in this battle are known as immune cells. These cells are the vanguards of our health, a tirelessly working to maintain the delicate balance between protection and destruction. From eliminating foreign invaders to clearing out damaged cells, immune cells are our body's first and last line of defense. They are the unsung heroes that keep us healthy and quite literally keep us alive. Now that we have a basic understanding of the immune system, let's delve into the specific cells that are key players in this complex system. First on our list are T cells, the central figures in our immune response. These white blood cells are like the heroes in a war film, charging directly into battle to take down the enemy, in this case, cancer cells. But their role doesn't stop at mere combat. T cells also act as regulators, ensuring everything in our immune system is running smoothly and preventing harmful overreactions. So T cells are our body's frontline soldiers, directly attacking invaders and keeping our immune system in check. Next, we have natural killer cells, our early defense system against abnormal cells. These white blood cells are key players in our innate immune system. They're like our body's secret service, always on the lookout for trouble. Their main job? Recognizing and destroying cancer cells. Unlike other immune cells that need a specific target, natural killer cells can identify and eliminate a broad range of abnormal cells, including those that have turned cancerous. NK cells act as our body's rapid response team, swiftly identifying and eliminating cancer cells. Moving on, we have macrophages, the cleanup crew of our immune system. These large white blood cells are like the janitors of our body, tirelessly working to engulf and digest cellular debris. But they don't stop at just cleaning up. Macrophages also deal with foreign substances, microbes, and yes, even cancer cells. By doing so, they contribute to maintaining tissue homeostasis, a vital aspect of our body's health. So in essence, macrophages ensure our body remains clean by getting rid of unwanted cellular debris and cancer cells. Next up, we have B cells, the producers of antibodies in our body. These antibodies act as a beacon, marking out cells like invaders or cancer cells for destruction. But it's not just about marking targets. B cells are key players in adaptive immunity, meaning they remember previous invaders. This immunological memory allows the immune system to respond faster and more efficiently to previously encountered threats. B cells, through their antibody production, help mark cancer cells for destruction by other immune cells. Let's now talk about dendritic cells, the initiators of our immune response. These cells are like the body's surveillance system, capturing and presenting antigens to T cells. Imagine them as detectives finding suspicious characters, or in this case, antigens, and bringing them to the attention of the police, our T cells. This initiates an immune response, setting in motion a cascade of events designed to eliminate the threat. Dendritic cells act as messengers, alerting our T cells to the presence of cancer cells. Senescent cells, while part of the natural aging process, can contribute to age-related diseases. These cells have ceased dividing, but remain metabolically active. Over time, they accumulate in our bodies, and this buildup has been linked with various age-related diseases, including cancer. Scientists are exploring ways to clear these senescent cells as part of anti-aging strategies. It's a delicate balance. While senescence is a natural process, the accumulation of senescent cells can lead to age-related diseases, including cancer. Mesenchymal stem cells, with their regenerative and immunomodulatory properties, hold great potential. These cells are fascinating, not just because they can differentiate into various cell types, but also due to their ability to modulate the immune response. This makes them a potential tool in the fight against cancer. Furthermore, their regenerative capabilities make them a topic of interest in the battle against aging. MSCs, with their ability to repair and regenerate tissues, are being explored for their potential in cancer therapy and age-related conditions. Last but not least, we have regulatory T cells, the guardians of our immune system. Often called TREGs, these cells are like the referees of the immune system. 
They keep things in check, suppressing immune responses to prevent the body from attacking itself, a process known as autoimmunity. However, there's a flip side. When tregs are too plentiful, they can hamper the immune system's ability to wage war on cancer cells. So tregs maintain balance in our immune system, but an excess can inhibit our ability to fight cancer. So there you have it, eight key cellular players in our body's fight against cancer and aging. From the frontline warriors, T cells and natural killer cells, to the cleanup crew, macrophages, each cell has a critical role in our immune system. B cells and dendritic cells aid in the adaptive immune response, helping our bodies remember and recognize threats. Meanwhile, senescent cells represent the aging process, with their accumulation linked to age-related diseases. Mesenchymal stem cells show promise in tissue repair and regeneration, potentially playing a role in future therapies. Lastly, regulatory T cells keep our immune responses in check, balancing the need to fight foreign invaders with the risk of autoimmunity. Understanding these cells and their functions can provide insights into potential therapies and interventions for cancer and aging. Stay tuned for more interesting health facts. Don't forget to subscribe to Medicine Health 360 for more engaging and informative content.